Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can install OS X Leopard on a PowerBook G4 using a USB thumb drive. Normally this isn't possible, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's get started. Okay, first thing of course that you need is uh, OS X 10.5 Leopard image. I have one here on my desktop. I also have a 10.4 Tiger image. Uh, check out my description for a download link where you can get these. Okay, first off, my OS X is in Dutch, so some things uh, you won't be able to read, but just look at the images and you should be fine. What you want to do first is open the disk utility. That's the one over here. And insert your USB drive. That's the one over here. What you want to do is the following. You're going to click uh, Erase, or you're going to click the main... A USB drive, you're gonna click erase. You're gonna make it an Apple uh, an APT, Apple Partition something. That's the one that you're gonna select and you're gonna your and you're gonna name your drive. I'm just gonna name it USB Mac OS. Extended journals is what you want to do and erase the disk. There we go. Alright. And what you then want to do is click restore. Over here, you're gonna select your new, newly created partition and you're gonna uh, press restore over here. Then you're gonna select the image of OS X Leopard. It's, it's on my desktop over here. You need a USB drive of about eight gigs, by the way, to be able to do this with OS X Leopard. You selected the drive and then you're gonna press restore. Okay guys, as you can see the restoring has been finished, I'm going to click done. First thing before you're going to eject the drive is you're, you're going to need to do this. You're going to select the partition you just created, you're going to press right mouse, uh, show info, and you're going to write down the partition number over here, it's also over here, so it's disk 2 forget that you're gonna need the last number it's gonna be three on this usb drive your your number can be different can be different than mine so remember this number and write it down after you wrote this down you can eject the drive here we go now we're going to switch over to my iphone to the power book and i'm going to show you what you guys need to do okay guys now we're going to switch to the power book g4 what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to boot the uh, PowerBook in open firmware mode. What, you're gonna, what you need to do is, before you press the on button, is press down option, command, F, and the O button. The O button over here. Uh, <laughs> I have my iPhone in my hand, so I can't do it right now. So I'm going to press down those buttons and press the uh, on button. And then uh, you're going to boot into open firmware mode. Before we boot up, we of course want to insert the USB drive in the MacBook. There we go. Now we're gonna try to boot it up. I'm gonna put my phone down. Here we go. Option, Command, F, O, and then press the on button. Keep these buttons pressed until you see something happening on the screen. We go by the way make sure this is the only USB device be device attached or at least the only USB disk here we go this is what you get open firmware mode the keyboard should work what we're gonna do is the following we're gonna type DEV space slash space LS and then we're gonna get a list of all the hardware devices in our MacBook on the first page there's not going to be anything special and it says down here more space so we're going to press space and it, it gives us the last piece of the list and what we're looking for is a USB device or a USB disk and that's over here USB at 15 uh, 1 disk at 1 this is our USB drive but we need to hold we need the whole tree of this device. So it starts at PCIe at F200 whatever. And then we go down and then it's USB 
15.1 slash disk at one. This is what we're gonna write down now. All right, so as you can see, I typed in the string. I'm gonna press enter. Nothing happens, but I don't want to type in this string again. So if I press the up key, it gives me the same string again. Please remember this string can be different on uh, other types of power books. So please look up your tree. What we're gonna do right now is press the up, uh, the up button. We're gonna go all the way to the front. So we don't have to type this in again. Def alias space UD space. And then we're gonna press enter. There we go. And what we should be able to do right now is uh, look at the data on the USB drive. So we're going to type dir space ud double dots and then the partition number you wrote down in one of the uh, in the disk utility. So mine is three comma backslash Enter. Here we go. If you do this step and you don't see any data, you're, um, you used the wrong tree creating the dev alias. So if you see this, you're pretty good. Um, what you want to be, what you're gonna do now is we see the folder um, system and library on there. What you're gonna do now is type the following boots ud double dots three comma backslash system backslash library backslash core services backslash boot x if you do this and you press enter your device or your mac power book should boot from the usb drive let's give it a go here we go it restarts and over here you see it starts reading from the usb drive So as you can see over here, we're now ready to install OS X. Let's use English for this one. Okay. What you first want to do is go up here to Utilities. Press Disk Utility. And over here you want to press your disk, press partition, one partition, name your drive and then press apply. I'm not going to do that now because mine is installed already. And then you're going to go back and you can press continue to install Mac OS Leopard 10.5 on your PowerBook, PowerBook G4 that normally is not possible using a USB drive. Please like my video and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks.